Hey guys, today's notes are going to be about three different topics. One, we're going to talk about the Fredonian Rebellion, which should be a review for most of you. Two, we're going to talk about a guy named General Neri Tehran who toured for the state uh, or the country of Mexico. And three, we're going to talk about the law of April 6th, 1830. As always, write your notes, but always go back and rewatch the video as we go on. So our first thing we're going to talk about is the Fredonian Rebellion. A man named Hayden Edwards decided that he wanted to make Texas independent. He had received a land grant from, this, the, from Mexico to settle his land in this area that is highlighted red. Well, the problem was that he wasn't exactly settling his land in, um, let's say, a legal way. He was taking land from people who had already been there and resettling other people. And a lot of the land he was taking um, from other people, those were Mexican citizens, which really angered the Mexicans. Um, you just didn't do that. So essentially what's going on is that Mexico tries to send some soldiers to go stop this. Well, Hayden decides, you know what? Forget this. I'm going to just declare Texas independent. So he declares Texas independent and he calls it the Republic of Fredonia. Well, Mexico sends some soldiers, soldiers to stop that. Stephen F. Austin, who is worried that Edwards and the rebellion and that kind of stuff would look bad on these new colonists coming over. So Stephen F. Austin took his little militia, which is a group of untrained soldiers, and went to fight um, the Fredonian Rebellion. Basically, they went and squashed Hayden Edwards. So what we know of Hayden Edwards and his little movement for justice, yep, guess what? It went away. Essentially, this is a funny cartoon. Really, this is what it's happening. Hayden Edwards says, evil, you took my impresario contract away right after you gave it to me. I'm breaking away and becoming the Republic of Fredonia. And Mexico's like, shit, whatever. Okay, essentially that's what it is. Hayden Edwards is a two-year-old throwing a fit because he had something taken away from him. Um, <clears throat> the piece you need to remember about this is that it's leading to what we're going to go to next, which is talking about Mary Tehran's report. Now, Mary Tehran's report is here because Texas or Mexico feared that Texans, Texas was becoming too Americanized, too Anglo. Um, too many Anglos Americans were coming in. So a man named General Miri Tehran went and toured Texas or toured Coahuila, Tejas. And when he returned, he wrote a report. When he wrote his report, it said several things. He had several recommendations. One, he said the U.S. is not to take control. Two, he said, you need to strengthen trade with Mexico. So those who lived in Coahuila and Tejas were trading goods with Americans more than they were trading with Mexico. And that was strengthening the relationship with U.S. and those in Coahuila and Tejas and not strengthening the relationship of those in Mexico to Coahuila and Tejas. He said, you've got to send in some more Mexican military and you've got to send some Mexican people to go live up in that area. And he wrote this law in January of 1829. Um, here is a copy of kind of what his law actually looked like. What he wrote, it says, Manuel de Miri Turan, General of Division of the Army of the Mexican Republic, Commandant in Chief of that of the operations. And if you go through it, essentially what it says is this right here. You got to fix the problem. Or basically, he's warning Mexico's going to lose control of Coahuila Tejas. <clears throat> when this happens... He, it leads Mexico to creating something called the Law of April 6th, 1830. Well, the Law of April 6th, 1830 essentially did these things right here. In response, direct response to Miri Tehran's um, recommendations. They said no more immigration. They're going to stop all immigration. It canceled all unfulfilled impresario grants. So if you were an impresario and you had a land grant of 60 acres and you'd only settled 20 acres... 40 of those acres would be taken away from you and you would not be reimbursed. Um, the law of April 6th encouraged Mexicans to move north to Coahuila Tejas. They completely banned slavery. Now, slavery has always been banned, but Coahuila Tejas and the impresarios and even Mexico kind of looked away and shied away from it. Um, but this is what he suggested. Um, essentially, Texans are remembering the Constitution of 1824. They are not wanting to give this up. Um, the Constitution gave the right to control for the states. But the big piece, the borders were closed. They give it this way. They can, they're not allowing people in, so if you've settled with your family, the others don't get to come out. Rewatch the video. Take, ask 